Hi there, it's Connie Ray. Welcome to ConnieRay'sCraftRoom.com. Oh, thank you very much for joining me. Today's craft tutorial, craft project, is this gorgeous little box here using berry burst and a black base with some beautiful black ribbon. Now, I have done this about four times now. This is my fourth take, so bear with me, guys. If I have to do it one more time, I might cry. So, I have used... Uh, what have I used? The Berry Burst. And I have used, for the stamp um, sentiment, I have used Thank You in the Stitched All Around Stamps. And I've used the Stitched Labels Framelits to create the little grey, and I've already done this, the little grey um, sentiment. I've embossed that with white, and it's got this lovely stitching around, as you can see. Beautiful. And I've also punched out, on the two-inch punch, a piece of the Berry Burst. Um, that's been embossed so you can pop that on top and also the shimmer paper in silver to stick that down as the label beautiful and what else have i used um, the scallop punch the two and three eighths scallop punch has been used to create that um, scallop punch thing there okay <laughs> oh I tell you all right so we're going to um, need a piece of black cardstock and that is going to be the base is four inches by six inches and the top in whatever color you choose is berry burst as i suggested i have embossed it and it looks absolutely delightful beautiful color and that is the lid is four inches and nine sixteenths by five inches and nine sixteenths i have scored and um, prepared the base and i've scored the top um, but I will just show you, it's pretty straightforward. I mean, it's a very easy box. Um, so for the base, it's five inches by six, and you're scoring all four sides at one inch on all four sides. So you're just turning it one inch on all four sides. Okay. For the lid, it is four inches by nine sixteenths by five inches and nine sixteenths. And I have scored it at three quarters of an inch on all four sides. And I've already done that as well. Okay, now with the lid, um, I wouldn't recommend that you burnish your lines um, using the bone folder. Burnish your lines using the, um, the bone folder for the base of the box. But for this one, because we've already messed around with the fibres by putting it through the embossing machine, you don't want to cause any more splits or, or unnecessary work on the actual embossing. So with your hand, just slowly, just lightly, just indent with your hands. It should be fine. But don't go rubbing and scoring and scrubbing because that will probably ruin it and you don't want to do that. Okay, and so with this we're going to do, as we've done here, we're going to cut and notch up each side. And whoop, jumped a gun there a bit. So I'm going to put on my glasses and we're going to cut and notch on all sides. Don't know what it is tonight i've done a few tutorials and i think i'm just getting tired i don't know and every time i go to record i've done something wrong and i think oh my gosh again so i thought well keep at it you've got to get it haven't you all right so with this one i'll do the lid first because it's a little bit different to how with this um you'll see that there's a couple of like where the um, embossing is the surface isn't completely flat so you want to make sure you've got enough glue in those areas to glue them down I'm going to use Tombow enough Tombow to hold it down so um, we'll we'll start with the Tombow I had um, I had the heater on in my room here and um, it got too hot and I went to use the Tombow before and I opened the lid and it kind of just came flowing out everywhere it was like oh my gosh and it ruined my first lid so that was the first time i tried to do my filming so this is kind of like you know and there's been other things that have gone on so it just i think to myself i'm just not meant to be doing this so just do all all the sides 
and just make sure you've got enough over the areas that really need it but you don't want to make it wet and soggy you just want to make sure that you have got enough to glue it down just move it around a bit to all the edges I'll leave that because I've got to do the base in it Ooh, something just went flying got no idea what it was but that's okay I'm not even going to look okay so we're just going to bring the edges up nice and straight and flat and just hold them for a few seconds because it is Tombow just to make sure Tombow is very good for this kind of thing it is a very strong adhesive and it will work but you've just got to make sure that you put it when it's um, embossed like this it does change the texture of the actual paper so you do need a strong adhesive to hold it together and you'll probably get it all over you like I have done there we go okay so it's pulling back a bit but that's because I haven't Once you put it on the box, it will actually be fine. It's just that I haven't burnished those lines too far down because I want to make um, the lid sit properly and I'll fix anything that doesn't fit with ribbon. So it will look nice. I have done a couple of other ones previously. Um, what did I do with them? Oh, I probably threw them in the bin now, eh? <laughs> I got cranky with myself. Oh, here they are. And you can have a look at these ones. This is the purple one and the pink, a pink one, which is really nice. Um, that was with Wisteria Wanda. And um, what was the other one? A pink Pirouette. And both of those colours are no longer available anymore, but they've been replaced with some new ones. Highland Heather is purple and um, Powder Pink. And they look very simple. Well, actually, the purples are a little bit different, a little bit deeper in colour. And of course, coloured all the way through, as usual. The, the cardstock is the best ever. You can do just about anything to it and it's going to survive. It's beautiful. And it's coloured all the way through. Alright, so we'll just stick this up. And fingers crossed that this is going to go the way that it should. So make sure your edges are very straight and nice and squared off. Hold it down for a few seconds just to let that glue grab. Hopefully the lid's getting itself sorted out. These make beautiful party favour boxes, I think, or even wedding favours. This one I thought was more male, and this one was kind of um, uh, more female, I think, because and I left the silver component out, and I thought, hmm because I wanted it to look a little bit more male. So they'd be nice wedding favours, I think. And I did use shimmer ink. I forgot to tell you. I'd used my shimmer ink on the lids just to give them a bit of sparkle. So if they look shiny, it's because they're supposed to look shiny. <laughs> All right, so this one should be okay now. So let's have a look. Oh, there we go. Look at that. It sits on perfectly. Oh, I'll just get those out of the way. And there you have the gorgeous Berry Burst and the black. And it is lovely. Now here is a little bit too, probably, a little bit, you probably could make it a fraction smaller if you wanted to. And you could make it eight, uh, let me see, nine fifteenths by nine fifteenths for the lid. And that would take it just a bit smaller. And it would um, probably be a bit tighter in the actual finish. But it's fine the way it is like it's not going to stick out so um, next we're going to put some ribbon so oh yes that's all right I was just thinking I should put this on first but maybe um, which way will I do it yeah I'll put the ribbon on okay so the ribbon I have put on like yay I have put one notch around there Because if they are going to be favours, you um, 
you do want to make sure they're secure. And I've used a glue dot. And I've used a glue dot on this side. I think I just got a glue dot on my nail. I did. <laughs> okay, I'm looking it up. All right, there we go. So this will make sure that your box is nice and tight and looks pretty as well. Now yeah, well, I have got a glue dot on my fingernail. <laughs> okay, and we'll just trim that off. And then we're going to tie around here another piece of this gorgeous satin ribbon. It's absolutely beautiful. Just cut about, mm, about that much. I think that works out to be a bit over, a bit over, what is that, 16? Yeah. 16 inches I suppose you just have to work out what you know how much you wish to use I love this berry burst it's so pretty we're going to pop our our sentiment on with some very blingy gorgeous um, dimensional I'm um, sorry <laughs> shimmer paper oh did you see that it popped up see Nothing is working tonight. May need, need another glue dot. I'm pretty sure it probably does. It's okay. It'll stay. You can put as many glue dots on it as you need, I think, to secure the... Oh, you can use strip, uh, sticky strip. Oh, see? Nothing wants to work tonight. It's like... My room is jinxed and all my all my adhesives are mucking up. It must be the heat from the heater. That's what I think. Okay, so we're just going to pop that kind of I just bring it down a bit. About there. And is getting low on my computer it's telling me so about there for that one and finally last but not least I can't believe it I think I've got through the recording oh what a relief I won't have to do another take <laughs> okay and there we go we've got this one to pop on beautiful there we go so that oh, is my tutorial <laughs> thank you so much for joining me tonight and i am sorry that i am a bit off tonight but i have been trying to get this one uploaded for some time now but that is the tutorial beautiful colors absolutely beautiful and a beautiful little um the trellis is just really lovely i think it's really pretty um beautiful color berry burst is absolutely stunning so there you go that's the gorgeous little box oh do we need to put some embellishments on of course we do we need to put some um little some of these little um, these little moonstone thingies here, don't we? Oh, actually, they're no, not that one. Oh, I want the matte ones. I like the matte ones. They're my favourite. I might just put a big matte one on. 
Um, let's put one here. Is that too big? Ooh, that is a bit big, isn't it? Okay, that might be a little bit too big. Let's go back to putting on the little ones. Put a mixture on. Put a little bit of... There we go. Hmm. Okay. I hope that has worked out all right. It does look a bit odd now that I've put it there. I might just take that one off. Okay. Not working, but as usual. It's not supposed to work tonight, I don't think, somehow. So what I'll do is I'll just take that one off and put this one just up here. There we go. All right. So that is the tutorial. I think I could probably put a few more on, but I'm not sure. And I'm not going to touch it now that I've finished the recording because I don't want to have to start again. So there you go. You can dress it up any way you like, really. And that is a tutorial for a gorgeous little party favour box. I hope you've enjoyed it. Please do like, share, subscribe. And I will catch you soon for another tutorial. And of course, all the information to create this, including the measurements, will be down the bottom in the information bar on YouTube. So don't panic. If you're not quite sure, just check down there and you'll be able to see exactly how I've created it. And you can do it yourself. And I just heard a big bang. And I thought, what is that? And then um, the other thing that you can do is you can purchase all the products that um, I've used today on the links down below as well. Thanks again for joining me. Take care until I see you next time. Bye for now.